how can you be so naive to think that this man is going to ponce around in a carriage or whatever he's going to be in when only 20 minutes from the palace is people starving on Wharf Road. He came there last year, left him within about 15 minutes because he couldn't stand it, and he ran off. And there's, do you want me to tell you how many food banks are in Southwark alone? I mean, do you think it warrants £57 million or probably more for us to pay that when we're starving and there's kids with no clothes? I'm telling you, it's an insult. I mean, it's a hobby for you, and I understand that when you're probably sitting at home with a gin and du bonnet, that's fine. But people are starving 20 minutes from where he's meant to be. There were families that went to war for this this area. They, they were in the undergrounds in Kennington. They built back this area. They, it's all families, South East London families worked hard to build back this area and he's left them to starve and wants, it, wants to walk 20 minutes down the road with a big crown. Oh, and it weighs how much? Oh, what a pity. How sad is that? It's, it is an insult do, to us. Do you, well, you, 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 you purport to speak insult. for a huge number of people, but I would suspect a lot of the people that you think you're speaking on behalf of are actually devout monarchists. Let me tell you one thing. This generation that's coming up, you, you need to come into the real world. Get on the internet. Everyone is I don't fuming. need to get on the internet. I talk to people every go day on, on this like, program. Go on Instagram. Look on the shade no, 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 no. Look at the no. black youth. No, no, no. You no, need no, to know. I, no, no. I, 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 I'll talk no, to real people on my show. No, thank you, Cheryl. No, let's talk about real people. Let well, me I talk think, about real people. I think, the I real think, people hang, are on the show. On, no, no. Let, let me say one thing. I haven't finished yet. Okay. The real people, right? Let me say one thing. Go on the real internet. Go on the shade borough for the, the black youth growing up in Southwark. Go and see what their opinion is. No one cares about them. We're the real people, you know. Well, we I would say, okay. we don't care. All right, Cheryl, right, you've had a good say. Would, let, let Sally respond. I would respond. maintain that he has been actively involved in promoting um, employment, training, um, engaging with young people. After the Br- Brixton riots, he got together a, a whole organization called Business in the Community, which started working with communities to try and improve housing, health care, a whole range of things. It was sort of similar to what his grandfather had done back in the 20s. Um, and the Prince's Trust has now helped over a million young people um, by giving them a start in life. And uh, he is acutely aware of the disparities of, you know, of, of wealth in this country. And he, you know, he's devoted himself you know, in, with myriad projects. What, what about Idris the cost Elba, of the funeral? Idris, well, the cost of, of, of the coronation. It's not funeral, coronation. coronation. What am I talking about? The cor- cost of the coronation. Because some people are putting it at 100 million, but they're, yeah. they're putting notional costs back. What would it cost to hire the royal coach and right. put a couple of million for that? Yeah. And the but cost of the everything. soldiers, they're already there. They're already there. And it's just they've been, you know, they've been diverted for the last few months drilling in Hampshire in a field. But I think it's it is something that one hopes will will educate people about the meaning of the monarchy and why it is important. Why what is the magic really of a constitutional monarch monarchy? And that having somebody in that position um, it, it, sort of I, I mean I think it would it, he doesn't have any. Power really, he has a reserve power that. But kind of a lot of influence. But a lot of influence, and that's one thing that he has been committed to for years. Using his convening power, I mean, he's been working for years in Jamaica, in Rosedown, to try and build a community there that will model young people, that will provide employment. So I think it's really unfair to say that he has ignored people on the you know at the lower end of the economic spectrum he's he's acutely aware and has done a lot to help Idris Elba got his start with a prince's trust grant and he can't say enough good things about now king charles